Papa Nilger. On board right here, Technophobic 4. Ghouls, a wave B. Let's get into game one right here. Wow. He read that, <laughs> that platform drop down. Yep, immediately going for the laser. Penetrating. Okay. Yep, press guard and pocket. There's Poka Finer, of course, playing the villager. We're getting the overlay sorted out immediately. He's giving it back. Yeah. He just took your toy. He just took your gyro, and now Rob's gameplay becomes a lot more one dimensional. He has laser, and outside of that, he has decent normals, but that's it. But and that's such a big deal. Up to when does he keep it? Doesn't he have to, like, yeah, he has to refresh it or something? He like has that. to bring it out, and then he can pocket it again. Oh, but. And <laughs> there it is, he pockets it again. Okay. And no gyro for Rob. This is pretty funny, right? It's but yeah, really um, rough. Rob, I think it's gone a bit better in this game, maybe? I think, I do think Rob is better in this game, but he still has a lot of the same weaknesses. Rob has been a really interesting character in Europe. Like, we have a ton of top players that play Rob That's for true. some reason, but it was considered the low tier. He was considered a mid tier. Oh, wow. Uh, with some ro rough matchups. And that's one of those things that Rob does have over Villager that kill power. Rob has a lot of kill power in his arsenal. And already we see uh, Robo Luigi trying to hold on to that gyro this time around, yeah. not give it to Pokemon. He's going to throw it out. Oh, no. Okay. And there it is in the pocket. That gyro no longer on deck. And Robo Luigi, he's been doing well without it, man. And I'm kind of yep. surprised because Pokefiner should be getting a lot more mileage out of. Um, out of Rob not having the gyro because without the gyro, like I mentioned, his normals aren't amazing. His he neutral loses. air is slow to start up. His forward air has decent range, but it's not safe. He loses and the laser is not that great. But I mean, you can combo off it by grabbing it, but um, not having it actually. Oh, oh there's that side B. Okay. Almost killing at 50%. Oh, he, he, going he for a second go for one. Will, he, will come back? Yep. There's oh, the wow. fuel and the air dodge and the bury and the forward smash. Poka Finder on the board, evening up the stock count just like that. And still got the gyro in his pocket. That's a big, big advantage we for him. The there come right the nares. What will we see with it? What will that sprout do? Okay. But yeah, um, I think Rob, Rob's game plan still revolves around doing lots of nares. Yep. A lot of Nair, and it's, that's the thing is, um, the Nair is, it's a lot, it's, it's too slow for this game, basically. Yeah. And there's a lot of ways people can not only and beat it, but they can also parry it in this game. It's not that positive as well. Sorry? It's not that positive on block. Oh yeah, it's not as plus as it was last game. Exactly. And that's so very important for that pressure game that Rob wants to set up. And we see a lot of those Nairs coming out from Robo Luigi. Oh, set up. Okay. Immediate mash, but not gonna be enough. And Poka Finder has to refresh that gyro soon or he's gonna lose it. Is there any indicator? Nope. I think it just disappears after a while. Come on, Nintendo. It's 45 we, we seconds if I'm correct, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And there's the Nair once again. And the snipe. Poka Finder needs to space his aerials better if he wants to beat the Nair. Okay. Using the balloons to tank one of those forward airs. Very well done. There's the up air. Strong move. Robolusi is using the lasers really well. He's yep. He's hitting all of them. He's, pended, he's shooting the lasers when Paka Finer wants to sh set up a back air or forward air. Just like that. Did you see that? As soon as something was set up, he shot out the laser. And maybe this might be a stretch, but I think Robolusi prefers the normal laser, not the fully charged. I think so, yeah. Because he, it looks he would, faster. He would rather use the fast laser. He would rather have a lot of lasers than one strong laser. Especially at 160. Look wow. at that, the Nair actually gonna kill and immediately grabbing that gyro for himself because he wants that to not get pocketed. <laughs> but there it is. Wow. Speaking of the devil. There's okay. the Nair into wow. the back air. Nice combo, 25, big damage. And there's the four, the back air is gonna do a lot of damage right here. Pocket Finer has to find that kill. He is gonna drop a fourth smash. No Yo, reflect on was, the side he B. He was trying to reflect the, the bowling ball yep. back at him. With the side B. Okay. Oh, the up tilt is not going to be enough. Robo Luigi lives. Oh, once again, the tree being a little bit of a hazard right there. I love Rob's F tilt. Just punches you. Yeah, it just knocks you away. Just tells you to get out the zone. 
Oh, once again a reflect attempt, but the, the tiny, tiny punish. Poka Finer just cannot find the kill on this heavy robot. Okay. Oh, disposes him onto the stage. Yeah, not Robolis. enough. And oh, the fourth. Yep, that was the re grab, so the fourth smash was guaranteed yep. right there. Robolis is really good at recovering with Rob. Yep. Like, he normally he normally tries to bait, to bait you. Like, he goes with the up, he doesn't attack. You think, okay, I can punch him right now. Well, he just smacks you out. Yep. Yeah. Definitely mixing up his aerials very well right there in his recovery situations. Robo Luigi. Wow! The meaty hit because of the balloons. Just like that, he's dumpstering Boca, Boca Finder into the blast zones. Nothing left of that villager. What's that? What's that? Um, caused by the balloons. The balloon extended the hitbox, which caused it to last a little bit longer. Wow, that, that, that lasted an eternity. Yep. I've seen Rob using a lot of up tilts in this game. Yeah. You can it's, combo a, it's a combo really starter. It goes into up air guaranteed. Uh, but very upper strong. doesn't kill that much in this game, I think. It still does. It's not as strong because rage is less effective. That's the main difference. Ah, okay. So where do you think uh, Villager will take Rob right here? Because uh, I did I, I not see the stage pick. I think Villager likes a big stage. But I mean, Rob does as well. So and in this scenario, and the platforms <laughs> might be a little bit better. Oh yeah, Focusing I actually, the gyro immediately. I actually remember that Pika Forte in Smash 4. He used to really like stages like um, Dreamland. Sorry, right, so I, it I might I be a comfort pick more than a character pick right here. I think he likes um, he likes platforms. He can do lots of falling fares and stuff like that. That's very true. And his fair covers the whole platform. So it's okay. Cool. Bowling ball. We haven't seen him pocketing. Oh, oh yeah, of course. He already has it. Yep, he has the gyro right now, so no gyro for Ob Robo Luigi. And already we see how Villager's gameplay can be so prob problematic when when Rob is when Rob doesn't have the gyro to deal with it, to go over anything, to go under anything, to have that lasting hitbox on stage to create traps. Those are all things that that pocket just denies Rob. But I think Rob Robo Luigi was pretty prepared for this. Right now, it looks like oh, he's struggling, oh, and the Reflect is not going to do anything right now. Yeah, Reflected, but I didn't hit him. There's the Nair, and the Dash Tag is going to get punished. Poka Finer looking strong right now. Almost a 100% lead, and a lot of okay, he just a lot of good edge guard scenarios. He's just not converting them into that kill. And we saw how long Robo Luigi can live. I want to see a side B kill. I love that move. <laughs> um, does Rob's up throw kill in this game? It does. It does eventually, but it takes a while. He's better off oh, using uh, using the berry move. Eventually, and berry up yep, smash. Eventually, uh, up smash will be guaranteed. And there's the reflect by Robo Luigi. A little bit ill advised because it does put him off stage. Well, That's not where you want to be. A that accidental parry on the tree right there. Slingshot's coming out. And here's Robo Luigi. He has to find that kill. As you mentioned, that side B is on the board, but the back wow. air is as well. So Using yeah, those hits, platforms. Yeah, that hits on falling platform. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what he was looking for right there. That's very smart. It was Poka Finder's counter pick, but at the end of the day, right now Robo Luigi making so much better use yeah, those of happens. those platforms. I keep forgetting that Village has a wall jump. Oh yeah, Super it's weird. very very useful for those forward airs, for those back airs yeah, you to can extend that, that, get that extra little hit in, annoy your opponent, uh, bring the shield lower as well. A lot of mileage oh, out nice of that conversion. wall jump. Okay, Rob Luigi going for the edge guard and an extra hit as well, just to salt the wound. Rob Luigi with his excellent use of um, gasolino. Yeah, for sure. You call it the fuel. The fuel. But yeah, Nintendo, we need an indicator right there. He does have an indicator. Really? It's, um, you see oh, on, on, the, on, on his, his body. On his torso. Yeah, yeah. exactly. There, if you look very closely, yeah, there's like glowing light. glowing blue lights, and those indicate how full his fuel are. But well, I mean, they could put, like, Villager has his pocket right there. Yeah. They, they, they could use a fuel. Wow, using that Kyra to extend his hurt box a bit. So a very even game right now, very back and forth. Both of these characters 
above 100 percent so there might be some kills coming out very soon robo luigi looking for the edge guard looking for the pressure off stage and oh. the cornering he actually caught on to the roll but did not have the correct execution and now Pokafiner has to keep that edge pressure going he cannot let robo luigi turn the situation around so often like he's been doing and there's the side b that he'll oh, wow. marry you have to watch out with us oh he actually oh, beat the turnip and I th uh, that upper can beat him a ton of stuff. I think he can be even beat on um, the bowling ball and stuff like that. Wow, that's interesting. 174 Villager is gonna live, is gonna set up edge pressure, but Robo Luigi just gonna go all the way over it. Okay. So yeah, you can come out, you can come off of the ledge with the nair and be safe. And here we see Robo Luigi going for those nairs because that nair is gonna kill now. It is relatively safe, and Pokefinder just has not been punishing it well enough. Here's the Nair once again, and another Nair, and he just keeps going for them. He's been throwing out at least five in a row yeah, with he, lasers he every so often. Oh, okay. But Pokefinder finally finding a kill with That's that sweet spot back air. And Very uh, well done. I've been noticing that Nair um, kind of eats up the, the pellets. Yep, it is a lasting hitbox, so it is going to beat out those forward and back airs. Nice combo right there. A little bit of percent from Pokefiner. Just walking up the ledge. Here's our B. And oh, he got two of the balloons, but no villager. He's at 190 and still living 200 almost. Okay. Oh, does Pokefiner he have any trying to stall out. Oh, and the Nair is not in. strong enough. He really needed that rage, but Pokefiner got the kill. And that's such a, such a big swing in this game. Yeah, Pika Ford is hanging on that life forever. Okay, this there is There it is. And Robo Luigi with such a minor deficit. Got the gyro in hand. Not going to last for long, I, I'm afraid. But you have to be a really calm player to play, Pika, um, to play Villager. And to play versus Villager as well, man. Robo Luigi really holding on, really staying composed here. Not letting himself get too frustrated by okay, let's that see we, Villager. Okay, let's see the bread and butter. Gyro to up Gyro. I mean, the gyro ledge traps in general are not as strong in this game because yeah. of get up attack. Yep. It is that fully invincible. With that full invincibility. Yep. Nair ah. gonna beat out the gyro. And they just kicked out the gyro. There's the Nair. There's the Nair again. Pokafiner finding all the right aerials. Robo Luigi, how does he respond to this? I Ooh. find that Nair's like, um, like villagers are really good in this game because out of shield options in this game are really strong. Yep. Oh, oh, oh he, he gets got the, the weak hit. Board. Attempt number two, and oh. the tech Pocket Fighter is on point right here. As we say, Pika Ford is the president of the Tech Republic. <laughs> it is the back Tech Republic after all, yep. Yeah. As we can see, Pika Pocket Fighter got that pocket unlock, and the down smash barely not connecting. That was also very close. That could have been the end for Robo Luigi. Will it grab kill right now? No, I don't think so. Not yet. Still, still can't get the up smash. Nope. Okay. Not if Pocket Finder just rotates his control stick properly and air dodges immediately after. Super tense game right now. Here we got the projectiles coming out again. Pocket Finder using the side B to guide his approach, running behind that Lloyd rocket just to cover himself. And look at that, it keeps working out for him. It forces Robo Luigi to go high, to go for those landing nairs to cover his landing. And then immediately Pocket Finder's right there with an out of shield neutral air. As you mentioned, extremely strong in this game. Offstage okay. gameplay, oh, because wow. of the Lloyd Rocket, it lasted for longer than it normally does, and that's why he got hit. He that was so hand. unfortunate. That's the second time, the longer duration. Yep.